Hi friends, now we are going to talk about one very small topic which will take less than a minute. Okay, this is something called delegation in business object. Okay, this is very important when you are building a workflow because though with uh, object oriented technology that is uh, push that is being pushed and it's being used 95 to 95 percent of the workflows in sap is still business object based but they have events that are triggered by the standard way okay through business objects so now i'll go i want to tell you about if you want to customize your business object add some methods and all those things you will never change the standard business object what do we do is we delegate it. Delegate means bus 2012 is for purchase order, okay? But what I'll do is I create a child of this, okay? And then I'll delegate so that when bus 2012 gets called, you, you can have only one to one delegation. So you can have only one child that will get called. So that means the child would inherit all the properties of bus 2012 plus he will add some new qualities so how you can do that so first we'll go after you have created your object type so here if you notice bus 2012 is there and here whenever we call bus 2012 uh, we call it it calls this business object okay this is the business object it gets called or if you want you suppose bus 2081 that's for incoming invoice this business object is called and again you can change it and all those things so let me see what which one which get which calls something custom so if you notice this is custom for bkpf account doing document this gets called so whenever we call bkpf the child gets called dst 11 11 underscore bkp this this is very important because you never will mention based on how a person is good in workflow you will always have a workflow that is getting triggered using business object bkpf rather than zst whatever it was in the custom okay so that's how you know so that you get all the properties of this and then you get the added properties of the child okay so this is very very important if you want to do an sap workflow program so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a pretty